This podcast features adults using adult language. You have been warned. Okay. And it's Oma's turn. Uh, great. Uh, so I'm thinking that I should probably try to hose down this vampire here with a lance of faith. So were you getting strong hits on, on them with reflex? Mm-hmm. Their reflex no, their is reflex very high. high. Oh, it's high. Okay. So yeah, I don't, their reflex I, is super high. So I don't want to strike their reflex. I wonder if their AC is any better. I would imagine their AC is going to be the way to attack them. I was hitting them pretty easy, I think. Yeah? Okay. Well, no. No, I wasn't. Uh, these are minions, and you didn't notice that until you just hit a vampire for the first time. Oh, yeah. They don't hit very hard, is what we learned. Right. But they are hard to hit. Uh, well, I'm going to try to lance him. We'll see how it goes. Roll high. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's my plan. <laughs> <laughs> you failed that rolling high. Ten. Miss. Yeah. Um, the priest guy decides to return the favor. He points at you. Me? Hmm. Yeah. Sends a bolt of shadow towards you. 15 against your fortitude. That does it. 19 damage. What the? And you have a minus 2 AC penalty. What? Okay. You're down to 5? No, oh, 19. No. You're down to 19. Somewhere. He hit you for 19 and took you down to 19? Or he hit you for... 19. How much did you hit him for? I think it was 19. Yeah. 24. So you have like 5 left. 15. 24, 19 is 15. 34. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. 34, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, I'm, I'm going down this way. Uh, yeah, 15. That's not a lot of hit points. Bring it. She does. 20? 20? Yeah. She rolled 2D. See, he's, he's rolling the damage. Thir- thir- yeah, oh, right. I see. Uh, it's 9 damage. Okay, that makes you down to 1 hit point. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to end up on this altar. I just, I'm telling you guys. Right here? Yep, right there. That's going to be our blood. Oh, that's blood coming off. Oh, yeah. Going through a grate of some kind. That's right. I never read you the description of this room when you opened up the door. (laughs) Crimson streams trail across the floor and terminate at a grate here, surrounded by... Surrounding. The grate surrounds a hole in the floor. Uh, Blue-green light from the columns. uh, Altar up here that blood is coming out of. And this guy, uh, you see below his hood, he has a tattoo of a skull with ram's horns. On his face. That's a cool guy. I wish that he had, didn't have that. But <laughs> that's good too. Yeah. An opportunity attack. I do. Yeah. Well, so what do I do? I have no idea. Magic missile. Bat him with your quarter staff. I can't do a, a magic attack. Okay. It has to be a melee attack. Okay. So I just roll and then add plus two to it. Plus three because you're second, but third level. Yeah, plus one on that as well. We just haven't used it yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> You didn't think you could do it. So I hit for 22? <laughs> you you, you got 22 to hit? Yeah, your damage is 1d8. So he just scampers by and gets clocked by the staff? Yeah. Oh, I didn't think you had it in you. You, you did. You did, though. <laughs> now the vampire moves up, tries to attack with the flank. 15. Versus what? Armor class is 15. Is the armor class still buffed? Oh, yeah, am I still plus two? I don't think so. In that case, it's a hit. Yeah. Uh, are you bloodied? Oh, yeah. Six damage. I'm down to two. And, oh, you know what? The Dark Creeper took five acid damage at the start of his turn. But he saved. Oh, good. <laughs> I don't know about this DM stuff, man, but he's fine. So. <laughs> don't worry. I took the screen down so you can see I'm not cheating you much. Uh, then the Dark Creeper tried, having moved around. So he moved around and then he waited. The yeah. vampire came up, made his attack, now the Dark Creeper is... So he can wait just like we can. Yeah. Yep. But he got a 4, 12 armor class. It's going to miss. Spin wing. Mm-hmm. <sighs> All right. Binwin is going to try one more time to get this brute strike off off on this bitch of a berserker. So, wish me luck, everyone. God, what the F? What? I mean, what? What's your total? <laughs> uh, four plus six? Seven. So... Eleven. Oh, yeah, four plus... No. Eleven. Attack is, remember, it's, it's buffed up one for oh, the... Oh, yeah, yeah, level. yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's 11 versus oh. armor class. So it's seven. That is a miss. Jim. Can I use a... Jim. Can, I'm sorry, can you use a... What was that? Uh, oh, second one I already did. Did you? Yeah, remember? To get me up to 10 hit points after I... No, no, no. Oh, that was when you... I, I You rolled a 20. 20. Yeah, you rolled a natural 20. You still have second wind. I still have second wind? Yeah. yeah. But you don't have an action to use it now. But it's a minor action. It's a minor action, action, a minor action oh, for a dwarf. Oh, right, right. You should use it. Yeah, so I second wind me, and that takes me... T- that gives me my healing surge? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So it's Jim's turn? Yep. So, and they're all around <clears> you. <throat> oh, uh, and you know what else? <clears throat> What's that, Scott? Jim is going to shift. Next minor action? I know what to do. So Jim is shifting back. Still have a minor action. 
I do. You, have, you used a standard and a minor. I get you a didn't move. minor? You, you didn't move, so you can Check this minor. out. There you go. Unstoppable. Minor action. Gain 2d6 plus 3 temporary hit points. What does that mean? It carries me just through the battle? Yeah. Right. All right. That's still pretty good. Yeah, good. I'll take it. Ten, an extra ten. All right, that brings up to twenty. Two plus three, right? Seven. Two D six. six plus three. Plus three. So yeah. yeah. Oh, seven. Yeah. Right. Okay. So what do you what do you, what do you got? You're gonna. I'm thinking I'm gonna shift back and then cast uh, scorching burst right here to hit both of them. Can I do that? You can, but it causes some problems. <laughs> Tell me about these problems. Um, the problem problem one is it's an area attack, so it would provoke opportunity attacks. If you cast it there, you would still be next to them. They would get opportunity attacks on you. Problem two oh. is if you center it there, you're in the burst. Oh, it hits me too. It's asking for a lot of hurt. Have you used your flame shroud? Jim's used everything. Ah. So you, we still we still get we get one encounter power, right? I mean, still. No. I use both my encounter yeah. powers. Yeah. 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 Um. Well. This is going to end in tears, my friend. Blood, I yeah. think. This is going to end in tears. Blood more than tears. You have any funny sounds you want to make before you die? This will show the, the dark side of Dungeons and Dragons. It's not always a win. It's uh, not always a happy ending. So You haven't used Daunting Light, right, Omen? Uh, no, no, no. I'm waiting for my turn. Huh? Um, I need to move to cast Magic Missile, right? Yes. But will that... Will he be able to attack me with this opportunity attack thing? Mm-hmm. But I'm only shifting one place. But you're still within melee range. Melee range? Yeah. I'm sorry. I guess I don't understand. I, I thought the opportunity, attacks of opportunity only happened if you shifted more than one place. There are two things that provoke opportunity attacks. One is moving away from somebody you're next to, and two is using a ranged or area attack when you're next to somebody. So um, you have a bow or a magic spell. But if I move far enough to get away from them, I can't attack them. If you Like if I use my... If I go... Do, 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 do. Can I still attack? Then you could attack, yes. But they would get the opportunity to attack for your movement. Oh, because I'm going by them. Right. God, Jim's in a bad way. I have mm-hmm. put you in a bad place. I apologize. No, I don't. No, you don't. <laughs> Can Jim explode and kill himself and take some down with him? <laughs> Jim would be willing to do that for the party. Well, yeah, you can. You could. How many hit points do you have? I only have two. Oh, I see. I could center Scorching Burst on myself. It's one now. It's one possibility. I'm going to die anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Like, is it worth trying to get a little bit of... Trying to dish a little bit of heat up there. So, if you... If you use an area spell, you'll provoke opportunity attacks. If you move away, you'll provoke opportunity attacks. If you're going to take the opportunity attack anyway, you might as well move away and then not get yourself in the spell. Yeah, but I could, I'll just die from the opportunity attack. At least this way I'm guaranteed to at least oh. have a shot at hitting them. So the opportunity attack will take place before the spell. Yes. Yeah. As I go by, he's going to try to hit me. He'll probably kill me. But if they kill you with an opportunity attack, you won't get the spell off. Yeah. That's what he's saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying I might as well just stay here they, and guarantee they, I get the spell off. You can't guarantee you get the spell because off. The, Why not? Because, because you ca- starting to cast the spell is what provokes the attack of opportunity. It will oh. actually happen before... Oh, even if you don't move, they are there to get. They are there to get Jim. They're tired of Jim's bullshit. Um, what if I use a uh, melee worm attack? <laughs> melee attack. Melee attack. <laughs> then you would be fine. And, and they could... wouldn't get an opportunity attack on you. Right. Oh. Take that asshole. Was that necessary? Uh, yeah, yeah. So you, you could lash so... out at the vampire. Well, no. I would probably try to hit this guy. He's been hurt more, I think. But he's not a minion, I don't think. Right. He's taking a bunch of damage. You won't... I won't hit the vampire. You won't harm him. Well, that's true. So, for example, you could shift here, beat this guy with your staff, and the next round you're in a slightly better position to try to get away. Okay. Uh, Jim is going to... You know what, though? If Jim dies and they're able to complete the mission... We pick you up. You pick me up, I'm okay. Hopefully. Hopefully we can do it in a couple rounds. Well, then I'm going to do... Oh, I see... It's a bad position. So if you, if you just want to, you just want to attack with a melee worm, um, I guess I'll shift there and just try to do that. All right. So this is plus two, three, plus three. There's interference. There was interference. Sure. You hit. Nineteen. Okay. <laughs> For one d eight. Yep. For five. Five is good. Five is good. Okay. Who are you going now? Uh, you are. Great. Uh, so I do have a very powerful daunting light ability. But there's three really powerful creatures here to use it on. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use it on this creeper. Okay. It's range 10. Should mm-hmm. be plenty in there. Mm-hmm. D20 plus 5. 16 versus reflex. That's a miss. 
That is my sweet experience. And he's over 17, right? I think you need more than that. Yeah. Priest tries another... Wait a minute. Yeah, another shadow curse on Omen. Cocked. Good curse. <laughs> 25 fortitude. 19 damage. All right. You're dead. dead. <laughs> Are you down? Oh, yeah. I'll start rolling. Should I start rolling now? Take no, it. on your next turn. The Berserker swings at... Uh... The dwarf. Do you have any hit points? Just 18. Points? Okay. Which she'll probably... 11 no. AC. Mm-mm. Nope. I have 18, so... Should be there. Vampire... What's up? <laughs> Crits you for six. The final stand of the great gym dark magic. Were you at two? I was at two health, yeah. He was at two. Was at two. All right, now you're at minus four. I don't like this dice anymore. Give me another... Give me the big black one. Okay. That's what she said. Have you been watching the episode? Yeah. Dark Creeper tries to stick his dagger into the dwarf. It's a 17. Uh, an 18. <laughs> it's a miss. Spin win. All right. Brute strike on the Berserker. 10 plus 7, 17. That's a hit. Uh, all right. So now this is 6d6 plus 5. 10... 16, 17, 18, 19, 25 points of damage. Down she goes. Okay, so as long as you can kill the rest of these people. Or we roll a 20, right? Exactly. I think that went a long way right there. I hope so. Uh, what is this goblin doing? This is the this is the worst goblin employee we have ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Ain't doing shit. Jim? Oh, my saving throw or whatever? Yes. <laughs> you did <laughs> That's a D12. Oh. Let's try that one. Strike it. one. Oh. That's a two. Omen. Sure. There we go. That's a two. We can die together on the exact yeah. same round. <laughs> That'll be awesome. <clears throat> okay, the priest points at Binwin. Gets a 19 fortitude. Mm-hmm. That's plenty, yeah. 12 yeah. necrotic damage. Twelve? Twelve. Like one, two? <laughs> All right. You have minus two AC. All right. And now you're now there's going to be a vampire. Oh, yeah. Twenty-eight. Are you yeah. bloodied? Uh, I am bloodied. Yeah, six, absolutely. Six damage. That's it. I'm down. <sighs> Life's still racist. I win! <laughs> wait, wait. Are you proud of yourself? Uh, no. You defeated us. Okay. Fuck you and your stupid g- game. <laughs> <laughs> we don't like this dragons and dungeons. dungeons. I could do with a little more dungeon and a little less uh, dragon. You don't want to fight the dragon? Oh, you have a dragon? No. <laughs> so what would what would happen normally like if the party wipes? You're about to find out. What happens when the party wipes? That's all revealed in a new expansion <laughs> module. Dungeons and Dragons wipe on. What? We're in some kind of hell realm now? Oh, this is the worst thing that's ever happened. You were right. We are going to end up on an altar. We don't have to role play this. I, I get it. Our characters are dead. <laughs> we're <laughs> sacrificed to Orca. To a, to, to a huge whale. Yeah, I remember him. You know what he told me off the air? Who? He said that this was a level 5 encounter. And we were only level 3. And there's 3 of us. And there's 3 of us. So I think we did really good. It, it was a level 5 encounter for 3 characters. We think someone may have uh, stacked the deck against us. Hmm. Possible. Maybe him. Maybe. I think we were supposed to end up here. Well, that helps. I don't, I don't feel like qu- I had quite such a failure. What are you saying? We were destined to fail? Yes. Yeah, that looks right. <laughs> Let's see. How brutal do I want to be? So what's going on here? <laughs> What's going on with your evil door? Why is there that symbol on the floor? Oh no, you should totally be here. No, you should be waist deep in blood. (laughs) Arrayed in front of the gigantic statue of Orcus! So you wake up, and the first thing you see is Orcus towering over you. He looks a lot like this, except that he's made of stone. Okay, well that's that's an improvement. (laughs) Okay. That's better. You hear chanting over here, and chanting over here. This is the priest you fought before. Yeah, yeah, I know about him. Uh, this guy you've not seen before. And yeah, he likes skulls. He likes skulls. Dancing. <laughs> ballroom dancing. <laughs> Smoothies. Uh, there's a book on the altar in front of him. He's chanting a low-droning prayer. 
we have a gaunt undead creature over here, covered with leathery skin stretched tight over its bones. I'm doing oh. kind of a fancy dance. <laughs> what are they? Is it just walking like an Egyptian? Um, blood is pouring down from the ceiling in rivulets here from a oh, square where we were above. pit in the floor. Yeah. Over here is a yawning black portal. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's blood. <laughs> Uh, there is something... Is it making a mournful sound? <laughs> yeah. So it's dark inside, but there's something straining at it, almost like a, a there's a membrane across this darkness and something pushing uh, at the far side Does of it. Does Jim still have his light coin? Um, no. Please don't throw a light coin at the yawning portal of darkness. <laughs> there are... Uh, it's not a wishing well, okay? It's the exact opposite <laughs> of a wishing well. There are braziers around here that are lighting it reasonably well. Um, Frasers? Frasers. Frasers. Braziers. No. Oh. Um, Is it spelled the same? Brazier and Brazier? No. So. Shit is real. (laughs) Uh, Do we not have any health, or what's the deal? That's what I'm trying to figure out. What is You wake up. I'm going to say you wake up as if from a short rest. Uh, So you can spend healing surges to get up to full, and you've got your encounter fires back. Put the skeleton back in. I need a I need a different eraser. Okay. I have one left. I'll put it to use. You really only have one search left? Yeah. Wow. I've been I've been pumping healing into this. <laughs> he keeps pissing people off. It took me four to get back up, so. So you're not tied up, which actually seems kind of strange. Um, as if they didn't expect you to wake up. You just dragged in. And left there. Mm-hmm. Lock it up. And walked out. <laughs> I was deep. <laughs> Bubble heart. <laughs> I'm out of 5,000. So, <laughs> you like, door out of here? This evil door? That's a pit, I guess, not a door. Uh, there are ch- chains, actually, coming down from the ceiling. I'll climb up. Where the blood is running down. Oh, um, bloody chains, sweet. Yeah, let's climb on those. That was actually the name of my band in high school. Really? Yep. The Bloody Chains. Did you have a song called Bloody Chains, too? Or? We did. How'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> bloody Chains. How'd it go? How'd it go? How'd it go? How'd it go? How'd bloody, bloody Chains. chains? Um, bloody Chains, Bloody Chains, Feel My Pains. Um, <laughs> bloody Chains, Bloody Chains. Um, what's that stain? <laughs> I think it's bloody chains. I think it's bloody chains. <laughs> Maybe it's from a bloody chain. Maybe it's from a bloody chain. <laughs> All right, we're, we're, we're ready. Chocolate rain. Uh, it's not clear yet that anybody's noticed that you're awake. Oh. Ooh. So, are we in combat? Like, if we stand up, is that a move or something? Well, we're not tracking your initiative yet. Well, we can. what we can do is we can... We could maybe, if something interesting was going to happen, we could listen in and maybe glean something. No one's noticed we're awake yet. Yeah, I, I think now is the time for listening. Let's do some perception rolls. Yeah. <laughs> That's the oh, spirit. yeah. 14 plus 3. 17, baby. Ten. I perceive very little. 20 oh. plus 2. I hear it all. Um, I'm going to make a religion check. Actually, anybody can make me a religion check. I don't know if... No, that'll be right. That's 25. 16. Uh, Jim, make me an arcana check. Arcana. 16 plus 10, 26. That's pretty good. Okay. So, Owen, there's clearly some kind of ritual going on here. Yeah. The, this guy is I reading... I blood. He's, <laughs> he's reading from a ritual book. He's... Uh, Chanting stuff. These two over here are are answering some kind of liturgy. Um, so it's, like a, it's like a call and response type thing. Yep. Uh, Orcus's name is getting thrown around a lot. Uh, Prince of the Undead, Blood Lord, Horned God. Um, All the classics. Yeah. Jim, you pick up that. All the monsters of rock. The purpose of this ritual is, in fact, to open this portal. Um, and what was your arcana check? 26. 26. 26. Uh, that it's a portal to the Shadowfell. The, the Shadowfell? The Shadowfell, which is the dark Magic. parallel universe, oh. land of the undead, uh, home of many things creepy. Okay. <laughs> home of the Whopper. 
<laughs> we don't want this. We don't want any shadow fell. At any rate, we don't want to go there or be sent there. Okay. Yeah, that's about what you can pick up. All right. Are, are we, have we all made looks at each other like, oh, you're awake, I'm awake too, and that's awesome, we're all awake. Probably. Sure. Okay. Yeah. I would I like to... I could make this out of room. You, you could. At, at, at any range from 10 squares away. No, that's unnecessary. I would like to throw my coin at... Listen. <laughs> Wait, did it oh, they, well? They, they took my coin, that's right. What is this? Says your daggers have a range of 5 slash 10. Five is normal range. Ten is long range. Take a minus two penalty. For so long range. Long range. So he just he can anywhere between between six squares and ten squares. Right. So I could pop up and dish it out. Throw a dagger. Mm-hmm. Uh, well. Oh, the other thing you both notice is that the ritual seems to be coming to an a end. close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna pop up. No, you're gonna is this, no, no you, you know you're getting to the end of ritual when it's like okay, Orcus King of the Dead, yada yada yada. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say I'm closer to this guy than that guy? I think you're closer, I'm closer to this guy. Well, yeah, but you a dagger ain't going to do... Closer to this. Oh, wait, no, you are originally closer to this guy because yeah. so you're on the This is a skeleton. But but skeletons, there's no longer this blunt slashing thing, right? Right. So you're fine to throw a dagger at him. Yeah, but he's not summoning anybody. He's here to deal with us. These are the guys summoning shit. Yeah. This guy and that guy is deal. I don't, I'm worried about that. Yeah, yeah, and you, and you should... Not that. I'm also worried about the guy that's going to set me on fire, but that's later. Me? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I've got. I have. I have ways of making this skeleton talk. Um, we definitely want to leverage uh, Jim's long range abilities on these sorcerons yeah. over here. And that's ready to help. And that's undead over there as well. It sounds like the yes. Egyptian, the Bengals. So I'm gonna. If I pop up, does that mean we're all rolling initiative, or do we win on initiative? Uh, I'm pretty sure. You can take a surprise round. All right. I'm jumping up. <clears throat> And can I run and then throw a dagger? Don't slip on the blood. In a surprise round, I'm going to let you have one action before we move into initiative. Oh well, shit, move me as close to that guy as I can. So basically, we, you could probably get off, you could probably get off one long range dagger. Right? Did you, you're once you say one, one standard action? Standard or move or minor. Yeah, yeah. So you could either move up on him, you could, you could start with, you could maybe. No, you're not close enough to throw a dagger, I don't think. Well, except this this is just some kind of like this is a the fly girl, right? Yeah. This is the undead version of a I'm fly looking girl, I'm right? looking to hit either that guy or this guy. And these yeah. are the guys who have the target. And, and so are you saying that in this allegory is that KRS one? Yeah, this is KRS one. This is one of the backup fly girls. No, S Del- excuse me, S W one. And this is one, the real two, deal over here. Three, four, yeah. five, six. How many spaces can I move? Five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. That well puts me in dagger range of that guy. Move me, f- can you move me diagonally five? One, two, three, four, five, yeah. All right, dagger to that son of a bitch right there. Oh, are all of those little itty-bitty squares? No. no. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, Shit. six. Sorry. So he'd be long distance. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, what are you also going to do with no, not throwing daggers? I'm going to do it. That counts as one action, you're moving and throwing a dagger? No, your move was, was yeah. your one action. Was oh, so now action. we're doing initiative? Well, no, no, everybody's taking their surprise round. Right. Each so of I you will get one action. And I can hit 20 spaces with magic missile. You can get anywhere on the map. That's great. So which guy should I hit? I say go for this guy. The priest? Since we're both attacking him. This is one reading from the book, though. Yeah, but he's responding. I think they're both integral. Well, I just went with him because he's closer to me. Take this guy out. Okay, I'm going to hit this guy with magic missiles. All right. If nothing else, it'll disrupt him from chanting. Yeah, I don't like that text, though. So. Yeah, we got it. That text mm-hmm. has a bad voodoo on it. All right. 13 plus 5 18 versus reflex. That's a miss. Wooka <laughs> wajawa! And this guy, okay. Yeah. Here, and so, the omen? So, can I lay back down? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And, and snort. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to cast uh, sleep on myself here. <laughs> it's a daily power. Uh, right here. So do we have our daily powers? Yeah, we got everything. Well, well, no, we, we have our, no, 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 our counter power. Yeah, okay. Uh, so I, I, I pop up and I hurl a lance of faith at this guy. Okay. Um, we want to start crossing the streams here very quickly, I think. Crossing the stream? I mean, just start stacking damage instead of spreading it out oh. pretty soon. Um, so, yeah, I'll hurl a lance of, of Fizz Eighth 
at this Skeletor. 16. Uh, 21. No, 9, 20 versus Reflex. Hit. Thank goodness. That's uh, radiant damage? Yeah, DA plus 3 radiant. 8. Yes. That's 16 points total. Hit. All right, now, uh, and I confer a plus 2 attack bonus to Jim on his next turn. Jim welcomes it. <laughs> Jim welcomes your power bonus. On that target, right? On that skeleton, yeah. All right, roll me initiative, guys. It turns out so good, didn't it? Eighteen <coughs> plus seven, twenty-five, six, five. <laughs> wow, I beat you. Five. You beat me with a four. That's true. All right, but, Jim. But Twenty-six is hot. But that, that's where we need it. We need it up hot. Okay, Jim. So you're saying we should start stacking damage on this guy? No, I'm saying we should start stack- stacking damage, period. You have, you, have, you have a plus two on this guy if you want to take it, but you don't have to. I'm just saying... You hit him for how much? I hit him for 16. That's pretty good. I, I might be able to finish him off. Yeah, Is yeah, he I'm, bloody? Uh, not quite. To the extent that a skeleton can be. I mean, I'll get up and hose him down again. I mean, I'm going to use the same attacks, and all my attacks are, are good against him. Uh, it's just it's an opportunity to get a bonus, but it's not... I won't feel like you have betrayed me if you don't do it. it. Basically, you're here to help either one of us. I think you can handle that skeleton. I'm going to try to help yeah. uh, Binwin. Lay him out. So I'm going to do magic missile on the priest. Ooh. 18 plus 5. That's 23. That'll 23. hit. And I need 2d4. Enjoy. 3 and 2. That's 5 plus 4 is 9. These don't roll very well. You want to do some new ones? No, no, I'm just saying this style of dice doesn't seem to roll. That's very true. There's another kind of foresight spoken of in legend. Okay, I can do it. There it is? Yeah. They're long. They roll sideways. Oh, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> this thing here. This, this creature of darkness. The undead Egyptian? Yes. Points at Benwin and... And you are seared. Sends a bolt very much like a Jim's Magic Miss, but different. It's not not infringing on your patent at all. It doesn't. It doesn't explode and say Jim. <laughs> Twelve reflex. Uh, yes, that matches it. Really? Are you sure? Even with the plus one for going by level? Mm, yeah, twelve. All right. Six damage, and you're immobilized. Ah, damn. You can still get a knife off, right? Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Just means you can't move. Right. You can't move from that square. Now how much? It was six damage. Yep. Okay. Skeletor comes up to Omen. Gets a 15 armor class. That doesn't do it. Curses. No, that's a good thing. Mr. Priest back here also points at Binwin. Sends that familiar shadow curse. One, two, three, four. Whoop. Oh, goody. <laughs> comes a little bit closer down the stairs. That'll Eight. help you. 18 fortitude. Yes. And the hurting just starts all over again. 15 damage. Oh, God. What the fuck? See, that's why we have to stay away from these fucking things. <laughs> Far away. And then oh. this guy turns. <clears throat> Slowly I turn. You dare? You are here as offerings. <laughs> What, was he expecting etiquette? <laughs> <laughs> we set you guys up on those nice altars. We gave you the ceremonial robe. Those were important, okay? You don't just see those in every temple. What power allows you to rise? Back down, I say! I think it'd be funny that's what he did. What, uh, down, you say! One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> five <laughs> seven, You're just six, nine. Nine. Rage. Listen, guys, Rage. I'm... Rage. Shift Not as upset as I thought I was. One second. <laughs> <laughs> Sons of bitches! <laughs> Back down with you! He sends a ray of X. crackling necrotic energy at Omen. Bam! 21 fortitude. Why now? <laughs> Nine necrotic damage, and you're weakened. That's too bad. Well, uh, that's a physical damage? All damage. All your attacks deal out. So damage. suck it. I'm actually three quarters In necrotic. your face. <laughs> Mother's side? Or mother's side, yeah. <laughs> Binwin. Three quarters. Yeah. Four. 
I'm immobilized. You are immobilized. But I'm going to throw my dagger at his face. He can immediately move to within your normal range. Awesome. 14. Nice roll. Plus 3. So, uh, 17. It whizzes right by him. Son of a bitch! I thought that was it. I thought for sure it was it. God. Okay, well, my turn? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I can take a step back. Right. Mm -hmm. And then I can dish out my tender lance of faith. Tender lance of faith? Okay. Tender lance of faith. Sorry. You know what the problem with the stacking damage thing is, Jerry? Oh, we have to actually hit them to stack it. <laughs> That's we where your plan breaks down. Yeah. 11 reflex, I assume, is not sufficient. On the skeleton? No. Yeah. Yay. Because he's a skeleton. No musculature at all. <laughs> but quick is. And But, yeah, as Owl Snot. Jim. Well, would you like some help with your skeleton problem? Uh, if we, I mean, I think if I have a couple more hits on this skeleton, I should be okay. I mean, if you want to start dealing with this fucker up here, or if you want to back up our man back there. See, here's what happened when we split. Well, who attacked first? Me. I went that way. Which way did this guy go? Opposite way. Well, I, I, I actually... Took one step towards you. I, I'm, I'm moving away. Two steps back. Yeah, etc. So we come together because yeah, yeah. I yeah. see. Mm-hmm. So opposites attract. Shut up. <laughs> so it's that ain't fiction. You now. It's your turn, Jim. Sorry, I can't. That song is just too good. Uh, Jim's gonna hit the priest with magic missile. He's sticking with his uh, gnome or tried and true. What are you, dwarf? You dwarf. They took gnomes out, right? <laughs> uh, Three hundred miles from me. <laughs> Do they really get rid of gnomes as a race? They're in the monster manual. Oh. They're playable from the monster manual. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a three. Did you just cheat? Yeah, I did cheat. I rolled wow. a three plus uh, 20 is 23, so... Wow. No, three plus four. Three plus five is eight. Okay. I assume that's time that. That's my miss. You know, I think it's funny is that every time you cheat, he just is like, all right, <laughs> you're the boss. You're a cheater. What kind of dungeon master are you? Get tough on cheating. Yeah. He's pretty. He's been pretty tough. I think it was the first time he killed the entire party. Yeah, I, yeah, I think he was tough enough. Uh, Fifteen hit your reflex. It does not. Uh, it does. <laughs> Another grave bolt from that guy. Is six more damage. Yay! And you're still immobilized. I didn't even let you roll a save last time. Yeah, the hell. I'm sucky at remembering saves. It would have been a five. So who cares? All right. Skeleton steps forward to attack Omen again. 29 to hit for 4 damage. Me? Yep. <laughs> We're turning on each other. <laughs> He's marked you. This The skeleton has marked you. Oh, that's fine. It's okay, okay. Um, I respect that. For love. Priesty guy sends another shadow curse at Binwin. Hits again. Son. 19 damage. Well... I got bad news for you guys. Binwin's down. Oh what? I'm at negative three. Son of a beasting. It's because I can't hit. I can't hit a damn thing. What was I supposed to do? You can ask when you were immobilized. You were mobile. The Wrath of Orcus is already beginning to yeah, show yeah, its yeah. effects. <laughs> <laughs> to do its stuff. <laughs> I.e. things... I so eat things. So <laughs> <laughs> yada yada. Etc. Etc. Et 14 fortitude? Uh, 13 fortitude. Just plus 12. You joker. <laughs> <laughs> You're a turkey. <laughs> Nine damage. Yeah, let's put it with the other damage. Now, can Jim escape? Like, is there. Could Jim run for the chains? Hey. Can, can Expedition's Pitcher Retreat go directly up? No. What if I ran into the chains and started climbing up? <laughs> oh, well, no, I'm just asking you what would happen. You can do that. What if I jumped onto the bloody chains and started climbing up? <laughs> Out of this pit of madness. <laughs> what happened there? Listen, Ben went down. You have a skeleton. Which has, well, the skeleton actually has you bent over this altar. <laughs> a javelin hurdles out of the darkness and... Hits the skeleton for a six damage. <gasps> what is Splug? Splug! <laughs> oh, Splug, you're back. Binwin. You're like dead. You're making a death save. <laughs> Binwin, why don't you gasp for a little while? Why don't you gasp on your turn? That was one strike. Oh, man. What now? Um, 
Heal yourself, main. Yeah, I'm gonna. Um, I dish out my power, my most powerful healing strike against him. Okay. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Uh, oh, I tell him to create an account on I'm a fucking dumbass.com. <laughs> You can check out all the latest dumbass news and fucking bullshit. I hate this young. Okay, so um, I use my minor power uh-huh. essay to perform a healing word. Racist. What? It's a healing word. Uh, so a heal, nine plus three plus three, six. Eighteen. Huh. I'm sort of alive. I'm going to stay between life and death. Jim? Uh, Jim. You help a brother out here? Up the chain. With your magic? I asked you last time if you wanted me to kill the skeleton. You're like, no, I think I'm going to come around. I man. don't have it. I don't have it. Let me tell you. Uh, Alright. Um, magic missile. Can I hit the skeleton or is he technically behind cover for me? I can you shoot can that. You can hit him fine. Oh, I can? Yep. Yeah. It's, it's a low dice. Okay. Uh, or should I? No. Okay. Magic missile. Yeah. Ten plus five is fifteen. Hit. Yeah. Finally. One one. Snake one eyes. one. <laughs> did you really? Six. No. Oh. Yeah. You rolled two ones for I damage. Did. I did. Yeah. What the hell? I know. You bloodied it. Hey, see. <laughs> or marrowed it, or you, whatever. You is got blood out of a stone. stone. Yeah. Congrats. And I didn't climb up the chains. Hopefully Splug will take it to the hoop. Hopefully you know Splug it's, you know it's bad when the DM's got to bring in the cowardly uh, <laughs> goblin <laughs> to save the day. Uh, Jim, 16 on your reflex? My reflex is... 16, exactly. Thanks. I can't can see it from where he is. <laughs> no, that's, that's a miss. Yeah, nice, 10 uh, necrotic damage, and you're immobilized. Okay. Your necrot. Something has happened to it. I don't know. Been I wonder where we're going to wake up next. <laughs> <laughs> the trailer park. <laughs> Inside. Uh, hits you for three. Orcus's stomach. <laughs> where uh, some we're other finding, adventurers are know, staging an escape. We have to find his organs. Yeah. <laughs> he leaves. He's too big. <laughs> this is a waste of his time. He bends over Binwin and says, Put down your weapons! Or the dwarf dies. I think he's already dead, actually. <laughs> he didn't even have seniority. Jim sets Benwin on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Burning um, the priest next to him. Every single round you do. <laughs> I can take it. <laughs> I can take it. I'm fine. <laughs> uh, this guy... Sh- that should just be his response to every problem. What if we set the dwarf on fire? And then I can use your name. What if we set the dwarf, the dwarf on, on fire? fire. Tie a rope around. What's the ROI on Set on fire. <laughs> Push him down the hole. But you're always delivering reports. Yeah. <laughs> Dwarf's on fire. Does anyone have a torch? Let's set the dwarf on fire. You waste your time, Thaddeus. Uh, 15 Thaddeus? fortitude? Yeah, Thaddeus over there. But, but, yeah, that's what this guy says. Uh, does 15 hit your fortitude? Who's fortitude? Your yours. yours. Yeah. You hit your fortitude? <laughs> yeah, it's 15. So, I think yeah. your mom's fortitude <laughs> has my hand. <laughs> Mine damage, and you're still weakened. Splug. Thank God. Thank God for Splug, yeah. Is he a healer? (laughs) He kicked our ass. Maybe he can do a good job. (laughs) (laughs) That's how this this party started with Splug coming out. Five minutes from now, he's desperate to keep us going. Suddenly, the priest is like, I'm... Fuck Orcus, I denounced this shit. <laughs> I wanted to be a dentist. <laughs> You're going down, Thaddeus. Benway, make me a death save. Strike two. Oh, man. What you got? When the DM goes, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, what you, what's up? Hey, so if, if he has, if he's got a guy behind him and I move away, I still, I still incur an attack of opportunity. I wonder if I have to choke it down and get get over there and help Benwin. You gotta heal him. Yep. I gotta do it. Do it really quick and maybe he won't notice. Yeah. Oh, here, level 20. Fuck. Well, do your, do your thing. 10 damage. Okay. Ah! That's why I know it's cool. Uh, one, two, three, four, 
five. Uh, by rocking with the cure light wounds. Okay. So that is a healing surge for him plus three. Right. Really. He's from your grave. All right. So thirteen hit points. Mm-hmm. I'm ready to go. Thaddeus says, "Hey, I was gonna slit his throat." <laughs> no, 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 I, Jim. Jim. Because uh, when this fucker leaves here, he's gonna incur from him. So that skeleton is gonna get hosed in either way. Okay. So go after Thaddeus. I think it's safe. Yeah. Because if all, if all three of us can focus on Thaddeus, we're gonna look, be looking pretty good. That's a D12. You need one that has more sides. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to do Ray of Frost. On the yeah, lady. slow someone else for a change besides me. Okay. He hasn't, he hasn't slowed you yet. I wouldn't tempt him. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking that. Have <laughs> slowed him yet? No. I'm going to do Ray of Frost here. Mm-hmm. You should change it to Raymond of Frost. <laughs> That's actually the full name. Oh, nice roll. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> 18. No, you. So uh, 4 plus 5, 9, I assume. Yeah. Good flex, okay. Awesome. Skeleton attack Splug. Good. Critical failure. It hits Splug. Huh, and Splug is down. No, Splug has a billion hit points. Splug has more hit points than we do. If our first encounter with him was any indicator, he's some kind of goblin god. He shoots from the darkness, you can't see him. Can Jim make the sound of a dragon? <laughs> Would that help at all? I don't know. Maybe they like that sound. <laughs> Who knows with these guys? Uh, Thaddeus there will try a shadow curse on Omen. Ten. He can shove pleasure. his shadow curse up his ass. Does Jim, when Jim was listening at the beginning of this, he heard the incantation and he knew that it was to open this portal? Mm-hmm. Does he know the incantation, the whole thing? You don't feel like you have heard the whole thing. Okay. And you recognize its purpose, but you don't recognize the exact words. Okay. Not like you, not, you learned. Wow, what do you think? Is it's what are we going to shoot for? I'm just going to open it. <laughs> and just cause some grief. Just see what happens. Give him what in the hopes out. that, like, it's like, yes, he's here. Oh, no, what have we done? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, maybe Orc. I mean, that's always how it works, right? The god Dark Kind comes out and kills the guy that summoned him. Oh. Uh, you want to set that up? I thought maybe. You're like every episode of Spider Man where he gives, he says, tells Electro, all right, you want electricity? Here's all of it. <laughs> 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 no, too much power. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're ready to go. Who's going next? Oh, poor Sp- Oh no, it's still gonna get, get necro. Right? So he's gonna get necro necrotized. What? Spl- where are these dice the coming one? from? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> For internal use only. Yeah, we're gonna switch it up. We're all using this dice from now on, boys. Oh, uh, Splug is bloody. But he doesn't care. He attacks the skeleton. Oh, please kill the skeleton, Splug. Nine. You missed the skeleton. You were the oh man, I loved you, Goblin. And this is how you were paying me. Binwin? Yeah. You wanna stand up, up I assume? Up me for one action. And then I'm going to uh Does he move action and just brutalize this guy? Spinning sweep this uh MF or right in front of me. Oh no, because you're that'll make Then I can't hit him. Then you can't right hit here. him. So Why don't you uh Reaping Strike? What's my other Oh I can crushing blow him. This right here, one in count. Oh yeah, yeah, I love it. That's a big old hit. Are you fucking kidding me? That's what you get for stealing the DM's dice. What are you talking about? 14. 14 plus <laughs> 7 is plenty. I like it. All right. Who's turn? Right, my turn? Who's oh, turn to die? Uh, well, I can, I can help you with this cat. Actually, I can get around behind him, can't I? You can. Won't you take an opportunity attack? Right. Correct. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. That's the puzzle portion of today's show. <laughs> um, all right. We're going to roll the DM's dice. Let's see if it doesn't curse us. Um, I'm going to dish out the healing strike. So you, 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 this is once per encounter, right? Yes. And then this is also once per encounter? Yeah, you can do both. Great. Channel Divinity is the only thing that doesn't work. Right. It's separate for me. That's a custom thing that I like to use. Um, all right, so I dish out. And do things like this. No, I need to say that. Uh, melee basic attack. You're doing a melee basic attack? You're not doing a healing strike? Well, I can't. I already used it. Yeah, I, mean, I lost it. I, I I used it on the skeleton oh, before yeah. I missed. Yeah. So oh. I, I, I mean, this is this is what I've got. I have a plus. Okay. Hope it'll help. Fifteen. Uh, so it's plus three, plus two. Ten. Ten AC on this cloth guy. No. Anyway, I I use a healing surgeon. I am. Good word. Yep. 
Yay. So it's healing surge plus three. Enjoy. Plus 1d6 plus three, right? That's right. Six. Uh, so it's 10 plus 16. Oh, 26 mm-hmm. total? Yeah. Enjoy. Jim's next. Okay. Jimmy, you're the only one who has it. Any idea what's going on here? Jimmy, you can do it. But who? The skeleton or the priest? No, the priest. We need to, Now we're stacking damage. Oh, now we are? We decided to do it now? Yes. Yeah. Let's try it. Okay. You may want to, you want to move away from the skeleton? I think that's a good idea. Let's blog handle the skeleton. Yeah, I'm just saying, you don't want to be in a position for him to be able to move six spaces and hit you? Like yeah, maybe? Yeah. He, he, he couldn't really crawl over this thing, right? And get to Mike in one turn? Yeah, okay. I Let's can go back further. I like it. Way further. No, you're safe there. Okay. You can hit anything you want. And you're covered from this jackass. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim's magic missile. 